Welcome to System Test 30 on the Fire Alarm Demonstration Board. This right here is a System Sensor 2400 photoelectric smoke detector. And we're gonna start the test off today by activating it with real fire and smoke. Note, I do not at all recommend testing fire alarm devices with real fire or smoke. That should be enough to activate it. There it is. This is an ADT Unimode 10UD fire alarm control panel, and let's go ahead and give it a reset. For alarms today, we have a Cooper Wheelock LED LHSR horn strobe. And then to the right of it, we have an Eaton Wheelock LED LHS3 agent horn strobe. We'll test this alarm out a little bit later in the video. And then to the right of that, we have a Simplex 4901-9820 horn only. This one is being coded to code three by the fire alarm control panel. All three of these alarms today do have a little black piece of tape over the horn just to make them a little bit more quiet. Since we have a simplex fire alarm on the board, I figured we'd keep with the theme a little bit. As a pull station, I installed my new simplex 4099-9006 addressable dual action fire alarm pull station. Yes, this pull station is addressable and it's being used on a conventional fire alarm system. In order to bypass the addressable module, you just wire everything straight into the button on the back and not use the terminals at all. This is the pull station that I unboxed a couple videos back that a awesome subscriber or a small group of people sent in. And fun facts, that same subscriber slash group of people also sent in this agent fire alarm, which was really nice. Below the Simplex pull station installed is the Powertronics MH501 pull to release Halon pull station. This alarm is wired into the fire alarm control panel and will activate the agent alarm that I showed you earlier through a relay. You may have noticed this earlier, but I also installed some red Christmas lights. These are the same lights that were used in the New Year's fire alarm sounding. And when the fire alarm control panel detects a fire emergency, these lights will activate through a relay and they'll turn on. That's everything we're gonna test out today on this fire alarm demonstration board. So without further to do, let's go ahead and activate that simplex dual action pull station. Here we go. Push, pull down. That simplex fire alarm is still very loud, even with some tape over the horn. It almost overpowers the wheel lock fire alarm. But the wheel lock fire alarm also does have some tape over the horn, so you don't really know which one's louder in this test. Let's go ahead and reset the panel and reset the pull station before it reactivates the panel. There we go, that was quick. 
All right. So fun fact, Wheelock Eaton is the first fire alarm company to sell xenon strobes on the fire alarm market, and they are the first fire alarm company to sell LED strobes on the fire alarm market. So they are very innovative when it comes to strobes, I guess. <laughs> As for this agent alarm, I have it set on continuous, and that is just to differentiate it between the temporal three tone that this other LED fire alarm is doing. And as we discussed earlier, it is wired in, the agent alarm is wired in to this Halon release fire alarm pull station. Now, fun facts about Halon, it is a clean agent that works by interrupting the chain of reactions that propagate the combustion process. And it is also very deadly for the environment. It's an ozone depleter and it's also a greenhouse gas. So in the early 2000s, there was a big push to completely remove halon from these fire extinguishing systems. And that includes fire extinguishers. It's being replaced with cleaner alternatives such as halotron or other clean agents that don't damage the environment as much. Anyways, with all that being said, let's go ahead and activate this Halon pull station. Here we go. Push in here, pull down. Push in here, then pull down. All right, or right. push here, then pull down. <laughs> okay, here we go. There it is. I think that's enough system testing for today. If you found any of this interesting, definitely subscribe. Thank you all for watching and have a great day. Mm -hmm.